Hello everybody, Andrew Hutchings here, and this is a scientific medical video, but I do not need to say the not a licensed physician part, but it's a, it, this video is a question to ask yourself, because I don't know the answer. Most of my life, whenever I saw cloning in movies or books or something, I always thought, that's not you, or that's not the same person, it's just a copy of them. And that is the logical thing to think, at least at first. But in the last year, I started thinking something else. And I don't know the answer to whether my original thought process is correct or this new possibility is correct. Okay, so ask yourself this. If you got in a car crash, got head trauma, and lost all your memories for your whole life, are you dead or alive? Maybe you need to pause the video, I don't know, but really, like, at first, probably everyone's going to go, what do you mean? Of course you're alive. But you have no memories. You're, I, let's just say even your personality, I don't, I don't know all the details of when you lose all your memories, how it affects your personality. I assume it's going to change your personality. Let's just say all your memories, all your personality, every thing that you have amassed during your life is gone. Your biological organism has survived, but everything that has made you who you are is gone. Are you still alive or are you dead? If you're saying you're still alive, which obviously you are still alive, then think about this. What if you clone yourself and your biological organism is essentially the same. Now, I say essentially the same because even when you clone yourself, it's going to be a little bit different. A um, few reasons, some big ones are mutations. We get lots of mutations throughout our life. Your clone is going to get different mutations. And another thing is, you actually, part of your development is dictated by your time in your mother's stomach. I mean, you're not literally in her stomach, but, you know, inside her. And if you grow a clone inside a different mother, even if it was the same mother, but different environment, different, I mean, even same environment, different time in her life, like, you can't replicate it. The clone is going to develop a little bit differently. Add that together with the mutations and uh, environmental, like, as it grows up, it's going to be a bit, like, physically different. But for the most part, it's the same organism. So let's say you, you die, but you have a copy of your organism. And let's just, let's ignore all those little differences and say it's an exact copy of your organism. It has none of your memories, none of your personality. Are you alive or are you dead? Because in essence, it's the same thing as if you got hit in the head and lost all your memories and personality. It's a little bit different. But like, so small of a difference that you can, for the most part, say it's the same organism as you. So it's a great question. I don't know the answer because it comes down to what makes us us. Like, are we just our biological tissue? Or are we the pattern of electrical activity in our brain? Hmm. If you could replicate the exact pattern of electrical activity and like the pattern of responses and everything, is that you? Because that brings to the question of like computers, all that's different. I'm not an ex, like, I don't know, maybe you have to be like a quantum, I don't know who could possibly be an expert on this because we don't know. We, no one can be an expert on the unknown. Uh, because even if, like, you think, oh, it is it is the same person, how do we really know? Like, so, so no one can really know. That, that That's the hard part. And I don't know enough about quantum physics to make the computer analogy. I am a biological chemical scientist, not a quantum physics or whatever that would be with the 
That's a great question. And another thing that I think I'll just make another video on is, um, are you really dead when you die? That's for another video.